The pipe organ has been around since the third century BC. We've seen them in grand cathedrals, expansive concert halls, and even the theater. But today we're gonna take a trip to the south of Dublin, Ireland to take a look at a beautiful pipe organ located in Christ Church, Rathgar. So come along. Okay, we're back, and this is Simeon, and today we're going to take a look at the Rathgar Pipe Organ from Edu Prado, uh, which is being featured on audio plug-in deals. And what Edu has been able to do is to capture a very beautiful pipe organ set in the intimate setting of Christ Church in Rathgar. Um, and the size of the room and the size of the church, uh, the room, I always say, is like, uh, you know, on a basketball or baseball team, they're that extra player. Uh, and it becomes such an integral part of the sound of the instrument. And uh, so we're going to take a look at this library. Uh, you need the full version of Contact to run it. So let's take a look at this beautiful instrument. Okay, so you can see that the interface is very simple, straightforward. You have a mixer with that you can blend the two mic positions. Uh, you have stereo width, equalizer, and then you have the reverb. So I've just pulled up the initial patch. Let's just take a listen to this beautiful instrument. And wow, what a sound, what a sound. Yeah, it's it's just, it's big, but it's also kind of has, has a real intimate feel to it as well. So what I'm gonna do, let's listen to the close mics and the far mic separately, just to kind of give us uh, an idea. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn off the reverb as well, so we can just get a feel of the uh, of the room. So here we go. And you can hear that it's uh, it's sort of dry, but it's got a little release uh, ambience to it. Just a little bit. That's the close mics. So now let's go uh, to the far mics. And that way we can kind of get a feeling for what it is to be sitting, sitting out in the congregation. So the close mic kind of brings you in like you're uh, sitting more in the, in the position of the organist, but uh, the far puts you out there with the congregation. So let's take a listen. Yeah, once I get started, it's hard to stop. <laughs> you know, again, you hear like an expansive sound, but yet it's uh, it's close uh, as well. So it's really interesting. So what uh, what Edu has done, he's given us a lot of uh, different uh, of stop positions in the form of NKIs. So I think we've got like 11 uh, NKIs for the full pipe organ. So that's that's the main patch that we were listening to. So let's uh, just take a listen to a couple of others. So this is the full diapson, and uh, let's take a listen to that. And this gives you uh, a lot of different um, a lot of different textures and possibilities. 
So this is the full diapson. Uh, we've got a little cathedral reverb in here and a blend of the close and far mics. And if you're listening in headphones like I'm listening, when I'm playing that low end, man, it just sort of engulfs, uh, engulfs you and you can just feel that richness in that, uh, in that low end. Beautiful. So let's just take a listen to a couple of others. So this is the Flute Celeste. Now you notice that I'm using the quick load. I've been really enjoying discovering more of how to uh, use the quick load in contact. It makes getting around uh, the patch is uh, really convenient. So uh, this is the Flute Celeste. Yeah. And I love the way he's just sort of pre-programmed everything uh, because it just sounds great uh, right as you load the patch. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, so you've got 11, uh, 11 of these uh, preset stops. So this is Medieval March, uh, Medieval March. So this is, ought to be interesting. things going on with the uh, with the pipes opening and and uh yeah you just hear a lot of nuance uh, going on okay so let's keep going so full octaves And then you can turn that reverb up and just really let it. Uh... And again, I can't get past that uh, low end, how beautiful that is. And then how he's recorded everything. And it's just, uh, just has a nice balanced feel to it that you uh, don't really have to mess with too much. It's just like right there. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's just take a look at uh, some other things uh, that we've got. You know how I roll here. I am all about uh, just discovering and being surprised. And so this is the first time I've heard a lot of these, uh, a lot of these patches myself. So this is the full medieval. So 
So you hear that those uh, unusual overtones. And when you think about it, um, pipe organs uh, are basically forms of additive synthesis. So you've got uh, different uh, sizes of tone generators, uh, different uh, harmonics, and then you blend those together with the stops, and that gives you such a variety of sounds. Blending those is like blending waveforms in a synthesizer. What I'm hearing in this medieval patch, you have this uh, really unusual harmonic thing going on. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. Really interesting. Okay. And one thing about a pipe organ is that, uh, you you know, because they have multiple uh, manuals, you can actually uh, record different parts with these. Uh, so you can have like an upper manual uh, track and a lower. And you can you can just do all sorts of things with, uh, with these uh, different presets. Okay, this is the close reads. And it's different than the flutes uh, because it, it's got a little more edgy sound to it, like well, like a reed instead of like a pure tone of a flute. Just so many different colors. Um, and then we have um, an effects uh, effects tab. You've got a little delay. You've actually got like a, um, a like a, a spin, almost like a Leslie. Let's just, yeah. And you can kind of hear that kind of going around. And uh, let's, uh... yeah, who would have ever thought to put a Leslie uh, or a rotary speaker on uh, a pipe organ? Well, you can do it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then uh, you've got overdrive. You can really crunch it up some. And then uh, just a simple high pass, low pass filtering here. So let's keep going. Uh, the other section of patches that we have are called creations. Now, creations um, are uh, just a set of uh, like almost like sound design type of patches. Ethereal flutes. Let's load that up. Now you can hear what he's doing with some of these. Yeah, with the envelopes and different effects, just kind of do some sound design. For some nice pads. And there you go again with that low end. Man, it's just so present. It's beautiful. Wow. Okay. So let's take a listen to another creation. Oboe Tunnel Close. And, it's, and it looks like um, there's like a little arpeggio aider going on. And a lot of times what developers do, they use that little wrench icon and go under the hood a little bit to create uh, some of these interesting patches here. So here we go. Yeah, so you're using like an arpeggiator. Yeah, that can get pretty interesting. And let's just look at the, um, okay, yeah. And the info, uh, you've got a little, um, uh, okay, so look, uh, so the close mics are Newman, uh, Neumann KM184 pair, and then the far mics are a pair of DPA uh, 4006 um, in an omnidirectional uh, pair. Yeah, so that's, that's why you get that little surround and immersive uh, feeling uh, because they're using that omnidirectional pair uh, to really put you out there in the room. Okay, we've got the delay. Let's turn on the delay. And then you can do, yeah, you can just take it.
Yeah, that's a little far out. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, pull up one of the full pipes. Just take one, one last listen to this uh, beautiful instrument here. It's, 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 it's immersive. It's <laughs> so all the links are going to be down in the description below. And if it's your first time, man, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any of the upcoming uh, instrument deals, library deals, all kinds of wonderful things. And this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals, and we'll see you next time with another video and another adventure in the world of sample libraries and these magnificent instruments.